Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about my first semester in medical school and how I was able to pass every single class despite all the obstacles. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that this was a very difficult transition for me. Why? Because when I was in pre-med, the classes were a lot lighter. And when I entered the first semester of medical school, it was like trying to chase down a train that did not stop running and had no brakes. Why? Because we were taking about 21 to 24 credits on that semester of a whole bunch of difficult information. And it was a weekly or bi-weekly evaluation with one or other classes all the time. And what made it even worse for me is that it was in Spanish. I was studying English and then take the evaluations in Spanish. And on top of that, I was studying from resources that I thought were going to be on the exam and it never turned out to be on the exam. For example, I used to approach the teacher like, hey, teacher, you know, this this midterm exam is coming up. Where do you suggest I what can I use as a source of information to make sure that I for anatomy, for example, the anatomy teacher told me you have to purchase Gray's Anatomy. If you do not purchase that book, I don't see you passing the class. You have to purchase it. And you have to study it and you have to know everything within the chapters mind you this book is like this, this thick i took i learned even the angles of the vertebrae like oh this vertebrae is at, is at an angle of 15 and all this stuff i was learning because i thought that was going to be on the exam that's what she told me it turned out that it was a complete waste of my time because what was on the exam was in her slides and what if i would have taken most thorough notes and written down what she said and transcribed the audio uh, recordings from the class, That will, that's what was really on the exam, right? So getting wrong information as to what I should use as a study source, and on top of that, working as a New York City paramedic while attending a medical school in the Dominican Republic made my first semester in medical school a horrible experience. I even caught gastritis because I was drinking like five to six cups of coffee per day to stay awake and keep up with everything that I thought I had to study, right? And my GPA for this semester was horrible. I passed every single class, but it was horrible. Um, and in this video, what I wanna do is tell you what I did to despite the latter mentions, amongst other things in my personal lives, I was able to pass. And how I was able to pass? That noise is the noise of an assignment. Excuse me a second. All right, that was a false alarm. So yeah, like I was saying, in this video, what I wanna do is share with you the information that helped me graduate medical school. And something that I learned, although medical school got a lot easier as my brain started to get used to the workload, um, the things that I did in the first semester, I kept continue doing throughout medical school. And this is the things that helped me graduate despite all the disadvantages. And the first thing I did was I leverage my people skills. I'm very sociable. I've read a lot of self-improvement books on how to have friends and start conversations. And I leverage my people skills, especially with the teachers. A lot of my te my classmates were calling it brown nosing or that I was sucking up. But in reality, I was in awe of a lot of these instructors, a lot of these doctors that were teaching the class. So I would always make it my business to get to know them better because you know, they they are what I wanted to be. So I had to get to know them a lot more despite all the lectures that they gave. So I would always hang out with them after class and those people skills helped me out a lot. Although they didn't give me the advantage on the exams, they allowed me to get like a deeper understanding of who this person was and be able to deduce a lot better on what they found to be important for the examinations. And it also gave me life lessons along the way because a lot of them served were mentors for me throughout the semesters the next thing i did was i took extra credit work every chance i got so whenever they said oh this is going to be done for extra credit i took advantage and jumped on it immediately any bonus points that were available i took advantage of them because i knew that i was at a disadvantage for studying in english and taking examinations in spanish so wherever i could scrap up some extra points i would always do that and last but not least I volunteered to present topics during this first semester. So for example, um, can you guys please talk about the fetal circulation? 
Or for example, the teacher will ask a question about fetal circulation. I noticed that no one dominated, including myself. But I said, if you, I always thought to myself, if you give me time, I'll figure it out. So what did I do? I would raise my hand during class or after class approach the teacher and tell the teacher, listen, I understand that that topic is very important. I understand that that topic needs to be covered. Why don't you allow me to five minutes of the next class to present that topic? And I'll present a PowerPoint presentation and present it in front of the class. And it would show the teacher that I made efforts that I'm able to understand. And although my grades on the exams weren't the highest, it showed a lot of effort. So again, the way I was able to pass my first semester of med school, despite having to work as a paramedic, despite taking classes in Spanish, despite being a high school dropout and not having uh, my mind apt for those type of academic workload, I basically leveraged my people skills and worked harder than the person sitting next to me. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Peace.